Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. If you're new to my channel, my name's Kelly and we do everything. If you like to create, distress, paint, stain, um, Dollar Tree DIYs, farmhouse, decor, you're in the right place, so stick around. And today we are gonna be doing some spring farmhouse decor ideas. So I'm super excited to be doing these two projects. I hope you love them as much as I did. And it was so much fun creating them. But before we start this video, Thread Tank reached out to me to do a review on some of their t-shirts from their new DIY collection line. And that's all I had to see was DIY collection line. Oh my gosh, right up my alley, right up your alley if you're here watching this video. So they sent me two free t-shirts to do a review on. This is not sponsored, they sent me the shirts and I got to go on their wonderful website, which I'm gonna leave a link for that website in the description box. Be sure to check that out after this video. But the two shirts I picked out were, um, what are they called? Relaxed Crew Shirts. Oh my gosh, are these soft. These are so soft and breathable because I get hot so easy. It's because I'm old, yes. It's that time of my life where I'm always hot. And these are so breathable, so soft. It says DIY crew. How cute. It's in charcoal. And I ordered the size I normally wear. It is true to size. Look at that. It fits perfectly. Oh, I was so excited. And... So it can be amazing for you. They gave me a promo code, Kelly10, K-E-L-L-I-E-1-0. -E and if you use that promo code up until August 31st of 2020, August of this year, you get 10% off your entire order, which is amazing. I'm gonna use my code and go get me a couple more t-shirts because I love these that much. So, what's so cute about their website is their slogan is stories you can wear, which, oh, DIY collection, oh my gosh. I was so excited, it was so hard to pick out which two t-shirts I wanted because I fell in love with all of them. But the other t-shirt I did end up getting is this one. How stinking cute is that? And it says, if it involves glue guns, sewing machines, or discount stores, count me in. Yeah, that's like my motto right there. So soft. Like I said, breathable. You're not gonna sweat your patootie off in these. <laughs> and which that's a bonus for me. That works for me. So when you place an order with Thread Tank, they make your order right then, okay? and it was super fast shipping even during these trying times i was surprised at how quick i received these t-shirts and mother's day is today shout out to all you moms happy mother's day i hope you have a wonderful day i know right now with our situation we probably can't be out visiting our moms and that's another thing i wanted to let you guys know if you wanted to get your mom if your mom's a DIY or a crafter oh my gosh discount store shopper <laughs> and you're planning on celebrating Mother's Day with her down the road when we all can get together again order these t-shirts now you can still get them and have them for when we all can get back together to give our moms those hugs and kisses that we've been dying to do and give her a great t-shirt so these are amazing you gotta check it out they're true to size they use a special quality ink that withstands time washes these are going to last a long time so be sure to check out my link below for thread tank and check out that diy collection they have i'll also link the two shirts i got if you want to get the same ones that i showed you and Thank you so much, Thread Tank, for reaching out to me. Thank you for the free shirts. I love them. And we are going to get on to today's DIY, two spring decor items. I am loving these little farmhouse items I made. They're super easy, 
It's using Dollar Tree items. I'm gonna make you a birdhouse and then I'm gonna make you a little chair that you could put a little flower pot on or a succulent. So let's get DIYing. See you in a few minutes, guys. So for project number one, we're gonna be using two of these palettes that you can get from Dollar Tree. One of these little houses from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm using Dollar Tree paint, which I didn't like. I did a review on that. Some dowels and some stain. We're actually going to mix that Dollar Tree paint with some acrylic and water to make a whitewash. So we're going to take that dowel rod and we're going to see how long we want that little, I'm going to call it like bird perch, <laughs> and cut it down to size. I use just a handsaw to cut it. And then uh, later we're going to be attaching that to the center. So I only had one glove, so you're gonna see some really weird staining going on because I was trying not to get the stain on my other hand since I only had one glove. So you're gonna wanna stain all of the wood on these pieces, the inside, the outside of the house, both pallets and the dowel rod and the Jenga blocks. Did I cover everything? Yeah, so it looks a lot messier than it was. Staining with one hand is not easy, and I can't believe I ran out of gloves. So wear gloves. Don't do this. Don't do it this way. I actually was trying to use just a makeup applicator to put the stain on um, because it really holds the stain well. I knew I could only have to dip it a couple times to get these stained. But yeah, staining with one hand is not easy, guys. It's possible, though. So now you're gonna to wanna to drill that hole into that house to fit your dowel rod. Sorry for the poor lighting. Sometimes, certain times a day, the lighting just is awful in my craft room. And then I got some contact paper. You can get contact paper from Dollar Tree. I got this from Lidl. And I'm gonna just trace on the outside just to get a semi-template and then trim it down to size so it can fit inside that Dollar Tree house. So now I'm just taking some paint and I'm going around focusing more on the edges. I did end up painting like the inside, not full coverage, but I just wanted to focus on the edges because I knew that I don't cut well. And I showed you that Dollar Tree paint at the beginning, which is so translucent. <laughs> it's like painting with water. So I added what little bit of acrylic white paint I had left and some water and made my own little whitewash mixture. So I'm adding that to the house, both pallet woods, the Jenga blocks, and the dowel rod. And I'm just brushing the paint on and then taking a paper towel and wiping it back off. I wanted a more rustic country look to this birdhouse, but I also wanted that hint of white on the wood. So I thought this was getting achieving the best of both worlds. You could still see the wood stain with that white whitewash. <laughs> um, I'm probably not saying that right. And it just came out so rustic and country. I really liked how this was turning out.
I decided to come back in and do a second white wash on the palettes, the Jenga blocks, and I think that was it. I didn't do a second white wash on the birdhouse or the um, doll rod. I just thought this would add contrast with the top being just a little more whitewash than the house itself. And it made a little difference. I mean, not drastic, but a little difference. So then I'm taking that contact paper and I'm just gonna put it inside the birdhouse. And I can't measure for anything, I tell you. It, mine's a little smaller. I hope you guys do a better job than I did, <laughs> but that's why we painted the inside white so it wouldn't be as noticeable. Just taking a knife, I'm poking a hole where I had previously drilled and then taking the dowel rod and pushing it through the back just to so I knew where that hole was. Now taking these pallet wood blocks that you get from Dollar Tree, I'm lining them up on the top of the birdhouse where, and it's hard to show you in the video, but they actually meet together at the bottom so that they can be glued. Make sure you're using the side that isn't an open hole. You want the open holes to be at the top, not where you can see them. So using some wood glue and some hot glue, I attach these to the top. Like I said, you can attach, see where I'm putting the wood glue right now, that piece with the other piece are the only two at the top that touch. You're gonna have a gap in the middle, but that's what we're gonna use the Jenga blocks for. And see, you do have that gap in the middle, but that's okay because I wanted it that way because I thought the Jenga blocks would make a really cute peak to this. So using hot glue and wood glue, I'm just going to fit those Jenga blocks in between the gap and it gives a really nice finished look and a nice little peak to the top of this birdhouse. So cute, so easy to do. It's so rustic country. I just am loving this piece. You can just put that dowel rod right into that hole you drilled and it fits perfect. And look, there it is on my table. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love the whitewash. I love the contact paper because it had like a wood look. And I know you can get this at Dollar Tree also. And I even had a little Dollar Tree bird if you wanted to have a bird perched on the little perch. You can do that too. Um, the, I would suggest taking the clip off and hot gluing it just because you can see the clip. So project number two, we're going to use some Cashew Waverly Folk Art White, what little I have left. We're going to use some wood glue. We're gonna use some Jenga blocks. These I got from Dollar General. Dollar Tree does sell Jenga blocks. They're just a little smaller. And then we're gonna use two of these larger palettes that you can get from Dollar Tree and my trusty handsaw to trim off the corners. So we're gonna start by measuring. I'm using one palette to measure the other palette. I'm using it in the corner of the top piece of wood going to the center of see the back piece of wood how it goes on the side so using the top corner to the center of the back piece I'm going to do this on both sides and then I'm going to use my handsaw to trim those sides off a quick tip when if you're going to use a handsaw to do this go through that first layer and then you're going to be left with the support backing Take that layer off and then hand saw through the support back. Um, it's a lot easier than trying to go through both at the same time. So once you're done cutting, it should look like this. The corner should be cut off and that's gonna be the top of your chair. And it really, that I think that's a very important step because I think that's really what makes us look like one of those little 
I'm not even going to try to say it. Aerondack, Aerondack. You know what I'm talking about. And you know I can't pronounce things. So this isn't a surprise that I can't pronounce that word. Um, so using your white paint, you're going to cover both of the palettes and the four Jenga blocks, making sure that you get in between the grooves on both sides. So paint the top and then tilt it to the side, get in one side of the grooves and tilt it to the other side to get into the other side of the grooves. You really want it to be fully covered in white because you will be able to see in between those grooves. So now I'm going to take that cashew paint and I am going to go in between the slats with it and then I'm going to come back in with a paper towel and I'm going to wipe off the excess. I love how this makes this look. It makes it look farmhouse, it makes it look country and you could even use this as like a beach or nautical theme decor. Um, I think it fits both. Super cute. So just rub that cashew on and wipe it off with the um, paper towel. I'm going blank. <laughs> So two of your Jenga blocks are going to go on the bottom, that the bottom, basically the seat of this chair. And using wood glue and hot glue, I attached them to the back slots or slats that are already on these pallets. And this is just going to give it some height so this isn't sitting right on, you know, your table. It gives it, gives it an added lift. So I position them in between, not really in between, but I position them kind of a little hanging over um, of each end of the three center slats and my hot glue gun I don't know if you guys have this problem I'm gonna vent a little my hot glue gun comes out so fast and I don't know what to do to stop that way too much hot glue comes out Ugh. and I got the hot glue gun from Hobby Lobby it was not a cheap not super expensive but not cheap but yeah it drives me nuts Okay, venting over. Adding some um, wood glue and hot glue, I'm gonna attach the piece that we cut to the bottom piece. And then once I had it, once it dried a little bit, I went back in and I added more hot glue to secure it. You could even cut a popsicle stick if you wanted for added security. And then on the remainder two Jenga blocks, I'm gonna do the same thing. Add some hot glue and some wood glue, and I'm gonna put them on the front or the front bottom. There we go. 
these are going to be your armchair rests for the chair and it just comes all together and really starts looking like one of those chairs i can't pronounce super cute you can style this so many different ways and this is so easy to make it costs what i would if rounding in paint three dollars i'm just going to add this in as a quick little tip i um this is the only pad i have and the only foam i have but if you had a bigger piece of foam you would trace around the foam with your pot so that it would be the perfect circle inside your pot and it would fill it all in and then taking just some acrylic black paint and taking some waverly truffle if you don't want to always use spanish moss or reindeer moss when you're making these little planters you can do this and it actually looks like dirt and then you don't have to fill it in with reindeer moss or spanish moss like i said mine's a little different because this is all i had so i couldn't show you guys that perfect circle where it's all filled in it looks much better when it's all filled in and then you just add your flowers to it and it looks just like dirt and it saves you a step of using that moss that cute little chair so farmhouse so country i used a little dollar tree pot as i showed you with some tulips in it which screams spring to me and then i also put a little succulent planter that i got from dollar general i love the teal i love the dragonfly that fits perfect on the chair too this is country farmhouse but it also can be nautical coastal beach Whatever kind of style you have, this fits with so many different styles. And there's so many different ways you could decorate this. There they both are. So cute. And they were so easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this farmhouse spring video. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that like button to help me out. And ring that bell for future notifications. Happy Mother's Day to all. Have a blessed and wonderful Mother's Day. I love y'all and I'll see you again soon. Bye y'all.